and welcome back to Luby Living. So today we're going to knock out some work on the 2010, starting with putting the summer tires on, then we got an exhaust leak to fix, and I'm going to see if we can get that engine light turned off. So I just checked the tire pressures on all these tires, and they're all exactly where they should be. One thing I want to point out that lots of people don't know about or overlook is when mounting any wheels, especially aluminum, you want to clean up all that corrosion on the mounting flange. Because in theory, whether this would ever happen or not, that corrosion can break off and now your wheel becomes loose and could possibly fall off. I've never seen it happen or heard of it happening, but that's what I've been told to do since I started working on cars, so I've always done it. So all I did to clean up those was I just got my die grinder with the wire wheel, cleaned up all the corrosion, and they're all looking nice and good and clean now. So today I've got to do all my work outside because unfortunately the shop is just right full and I cannot pull my truck in. So it sucks, but whatever, I've been pretty lucky being able to get my truck in here lately. So everything's going to be shot outside today. So now that I got this wheel jacked up, I can uh, check it from play. Shake this way. Check the tie rods. And lastly, check the ball joints. That all looks tight. So this wheel's ready to come off. So I got the front wheels on, just starting to jack up the back now, and just had to stop for a second because, God, does that look way better. So, uh, finish these wheels, probably go and wash it quick, those wheels have been sitting in a shed for a long time, a couple, probably over a year at least, and the rest of the truck needs a bit of a wash, then I can finish up cleaning over that black. And uh, then we'll continue with the exhaust and fixing that sensor. So I got all the wheels on. I'm really liking that a lot better than the winter tires. Only thing is, I almost guarantee this mud flap's going to have to come off because when I turn there's not a lot of space there. I'll try it out and see. So I got the hubcaps for the wheels. But uh, there's two bolts that hold each hubcap on. And my buddy I got the wheels from, he lost them. Which is no big deal, I thought I had bolts that would work for my other truck, but they're too small. So I'll just leave the hubcaps off for now until I find the right bolts. So just fixing this exhaust leak now, what happened was, when I swapped the engine, somehow I used more nuts and bolts putting it back together than I did taking it apart. So I used that nut somewhere else, knowing that this one I could still drive with that off, and uh, it would be fairly easy to get at later. So I just finally got a new replacement nut for that. Just tighten it down now and hopefully get rid of that exhaust leak. So this right here was my custom uh, adapter to go from the new harness to the old engine to get my camshaft sensor to read. And it worked like I wanted it to. But uh, the 2010 engine also had this sensor, which the 2008 engine does not have. So I still have an engine light on. Everything runs like it should be but I want that engine light off if I can. So what I'm gonna try to do is just add in this plug here, which plugs into this sensor, to my harness. I'm just gonna have this dangle, not actually read anything. See if that turns out the engine light. I think initially it will, but after a drive, it's gonna realize, hey, I'm not reading anything, and it's gonna turn the engine light back on. Um, if that happens, I've got a few other tricks that I can try. I don't think any of them will work, but I'm gonna give them a shot. And if it comes down to none of my little tricks working, that engine light's just gonna to have to stay on because to get this sensor in, and like I said, no drivability issues without it, just an engine light on. So to turn that engine light off, it's gonna be a lot of work and uh, easily a couple hundred bucks just to turn that engine light off. And being as I don't need uh, 
emissions test. I'm just gonna say, well, let that light stay on. So now that I got this little sensor by itself, it's got two wires here, a brown and a purple one, and they match up with this off the plug for the 2010, a brown and a purple one. So I'm just gonna strip a little back of, on each and uh, solder them together. Now in soldering, you don't want to heat up the solder itself, you actually just want to heat up the wire and then get your solder in and just tap it once that wire is warm. And then heat it up, Let's sink right in. I'm doing a really bad job here right now, but uh, that has solder has sunk through that whole wire, so now we'll just get our heat shrink. Shrink tube, whatever you want to call it, and shrink that over there. So that's sealed up, that'll be okay. So now, out of our harness here, we've got, this goes to the wiring harness, that goes to our cam sensor, and this goes to whatever this sensor is here, I'm not really sure. Plugs right in like that, and should lock in. Anyways, we're just gonna let this sensor here dangle because I don't have a spot on the engine for it actually. I'm just hoping it will turn out the engine light. This one goes into the harness like I was saying, and back into the cam sensor. So we'll give that a shot and uh, see if it fixes my problem. So we've got the new harness plugged in here. I'm just gonna start the truck up and see if the engine light goes out. for all these lights to turn off. The engine light is still on, so I'll try clearing the codes and then see if it comes back on after. So I cleared the codes and we're gonna try starting it up again, see if that engine light's off and stays off now. Oh, engine light's already out. I'm gonna just take it for a quick rip around the yard See how bad those tires rub on those uh, mud flaps. See if that engine light comes back on. So as I suspected, the engine light came back on after a little bit of driving. So we got a few other little tricks that I can try to turn it off, but that's all the time we have for this week. So tune in next week.